Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? I hope you guys are doing good and that all is well. Today, we're going to be taking a look at transforming Vegeta. So I'm a little late on this one. He released his EZA like 10 days ago or something like that. A little over. Um, but this is the team we're going to be taking a look at him on. And also, I completely overlooked this. But yeah, we also got these guys. I don't know if I'm going to do a showcase on these guys or not because they don't look the greatest. But I did look at his details. I didn't even see that Int, Int Super Vegeta here also got his EZA. Um, so if I would have done that already, I honestly probably would have brought him on the team instead of this guy. Because uh, Dokkan Fest Super Vegeta is not the best anymore. But we've got some decent support on the team. We're definitely not hopping into the red zone. We're going to hop into like the legendary Vegeta event or something. So we'll just... Take a look at transforming Vegeta against transforming Vegeta. And let's take this support memory. Even though it is level 1, I have yet to boost all those support memories from that uh, support memory boost event that they have. Um, where was that team? Yeah. Alright. So Gohan here. He's only he's actually only here just for the support. Bond of Master and Disciple category has Q2 and attack and defense 50%. And the only one who's actually on that category is, is Transforming Vegeta, so. But that's who we're doing the video on today, so let's go ahead and hop in All right, let's and do see this. what our boy Transforming Vegeta can do. And of course he's in slot seven, so honestly, let's just back out and redo this. We can get better a better rotation than that. I'm hoping to get him with Super Vegeta right off the bat, but if not, we could rock him with Transforming Goku. All right, let's do this. All right, yeah, this will work. Let's do it. I like how they say, he's like, let's charge together at full power, and then instead of charging together at full power, they just kind of get in their stance. Yeah, let's transcend to Super Saiyan, okay. Um, yeah, so looks like our next rotation, uh, we'll have him and Goku next to each other, so they'll share a couple, you know, regular Saiyan links, Super Saiyan, prepare for battle, freeze battle, Golden Warrior, all that jazz. Uh, but we also got Gohan on rotation right off the bat too, so that'll be 50% support, attack and defense support for Vegeta, so that's good. Um, so Vegeta, he pretty much stayed the same, I mean, he's a little better, he's now greatly raising defense on his super attack, so that's good. Um, but still, like, right off the bat, in, in some of these events, he's, he's not going to be the best to be running because he needs to build up, of course. So if he gets his triple super attacks, that would be ideal. But, I know... Uh, I know he does change orbs, doesn't he? Does he? Yeah, STR to physical key spheres, but he needs 7 to launch that guaranteed additional super attack. He gets 30% defense on super, additional 15% attack per key sphere obtained. And other than that, there's really not much else to say about him. I mean, you guys know what Transforming Vegeta is all about. He's just gonna get ever so slightly better um, with each transformation. And then once he gets to blue, he'll, he should be pretty good. We'll see though. Um, so right there's nine key spheres for him. So that's gonna boost his attack up a bit. We got, yep. Those four links active that we mentioned, we'll give him nine orbs here. We got 50% support on rotation. He's, him and Goku are just both below 200k there, um, but Goku doesn't have any support. And Goku actually has damage reduction. He got his EZA a while ago, so I feel like they definitely could have just given Vegeta some guard or something. And there's the guaranteed additional, and then let's see if we can get the hidden potential. We did not. Either way, that's a double double greatly stack, so that'll be good for his defense. And let's see if we can't get Super Vegeta over there with him, because they will actually share every single link together, at least until V2 
Vegeta goes into God. So. Yeah, we still got a lot to clear over on the Japanese version. Uh, not much to do over here on Global, other than fight Omega Shenron over and over again with uh, different teams and different units just to test out against him. But those are always fun videos, you know, doing some challenge runs with certain units. Fusion Zamasu and Omega Shenron, but nine years coming up, so they might, they might add a more difficult fight than just those two. So that'll be good. You can always use some more challenging, difficult content. Alright, got Super Vegeta and Super Saiyan 2 Goku now. No support on rotation, and unfortunately we cannot give him many... Well, actually, okay, so he's at 271 now. So, yeah, with, I mean, with two greatly stacks, 250% stacks, that's, that's not bad, 271. Ah, uh, ooh, six, dang. He does need seven, doesn't he? Yeah. So we're not going to get that guaranteed additional super attack. Man, <laughs> they really had to make it seven, huh? These guys. Giving, giving Vegeta the shaft, as always. But maybe we can get the hidden potential to pop off. Uh, I know I probably built this guy full combo, I'd imagine. Because I'm a fiend for the additional attacks, even though dodge is head and shoulders better. But he can put up some decent numbers, so that's cool. Maybe some triple supers. Greatly stacking his defense. He's not bad, but in today's day and age, with the meta, he's not the best. Um, yeah, let's float off Gohan again, um, just because Bardock only gives the attack 50% to everybody. But Gohan here actually will be giving the attack and defense 50%. To just Vegeta, though. He's the only one on Bond of Master Disciple on this team, I think. Alright. <laughs> Goku's going to Super Saiyan 3. Vegeta's now going to Super Saiyan 2. They just had to slip Super Vegeta in there for him. So there we go. Now, this will be a good rotation. Let's do this. So this way, we're not going to be able to give Goku an attack, but he's not who we're showcasing anyways. He does stack as well, but now he has over and a flash, so that would be good if he was next to Bardock right now. Actually, if he was next to Bardock, he would have limit-breaking form, experienced fighters, and over and a flash active right now, right? Yep, this man's got experienced fighters, so Bardock's actually a pretty good linking partner with this Goku once he you know, goes into Super Saiyan 3 at least. But yeah, we're going to have every link active with Vegeta, because now we've got Super Vegeta here. 354, we're also able to get him in 7 orbs, 8 orbs right there, so he's going to be hitting pretty hard as you can see his, his attack is over a million right there before he even attacks, um, yeah, 20%, so he's halfway there, um, I guess we could pop this man's active skill, sure, why not, kind of want to see it, it's been a while since we've seen Super Vegeta's active skill. Looks like I'm a little too much for you to handle now, aren't I? I am Super Vegeta! Man, this guy and AGL Trunks, they're like pretty cool cards to run. Maybe that Super Saiyan 2 slash 3 Goku, the physical one, the Dokkan Fest, but they are like all need easy A's now. They're, they're not the best to be running. That's why we're not in red zone right now, because we brought this guy. <laughs> Uh, actually, a lot of these units would not be able to handle red zone. Let's, let's see how much Goku takes right here. Yeah, 182k, just against God Vegeta and the legendary Vegeta then. Fighting Legend Vegeta, so he's just below an 8 million right there. No support, every link active. And there's the guaranteed additional. He does not raise attack on super attack though, which is alright. Didn't get the hidden potential again. Man, if we, if we would have gotten some triple supers, his defense would be, like, a lot better, for sure. Of course, with the greatly stacks. There we go. 
Our boy Super Vegeta ain't letting us down with the additional though. That's his hidden potential popping off. And there's the guaranteed crit right at the KO screen too. Yeah, this man deserves an LR. They gave him a pretty crappy Dokkan Fest. Like he's good with the guaranteed crits and stuff, but he's like not good at all defensively. All right. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's transform with a friend actually. I'm about to change the voice to the Japanese dialogue just because of this guy's active skill with him transforming. Alright, well, they got Super Saiyan Warrior Gods and Fierce Battle. Uh, we could get over in a flash there. But... I don't think we're going to do that. I wonder if we can one-turn Blue Vegeta here. Probably not. Let's see. Alright, the 9.3. Vegito special. It's gonna have to get a lot of additional attacks and crits if we wanna finish Vegito off this turn. Ooh, there's a crit. 12T, 6.5. You love to see it. We're finishing them off. On to Blue Evolution we go. Oh man, are we even going to be able to see Blue Vegeta? Because he should be going God this turn. And we don't have Transforming. No, actually we should have Transforming Goku with him because we slowed it off Super Vegeta last turn. Okay. So we'll be good. We'll have Warrior Gods up. And I don't think he has Godly Power. We'll go ahead and take a look here. Alright. Yeah, there's God Goku and God Vegeta. Perfect. Now we're up against Blue Evolution. Seven orbs? Five, five? Oh no! Either way, not able to get him the orbs he needs. He's at five, just below 600k defense there, though. Let's actually go ahead and reset, and then we're going to hop back in and see. We're going to put Vegeta in slot one. I was just uh, testing to see if I could get him in seven orbs in slot two, but it doesn't look like that's the case. So we're going to go ahead and put him in slot 1 and see how he does against Blue Evolution Vegeta's final flash, if he decides to super attack us. But, yeah, I mean, we're, what, it's turn 8, and he still has not went blue yet. Alright, there's 6 orbs. Alright, yep, yeah, blow 600k, we've got the support from Gohan, let's see what he hits as God Vegeta. 8.1, that's like 4 key spheres. Not bad. He actually got the hidden potential that time, so we didn't get him, oh wait, no. Wait a second, does he actually not need seven T-Spheres anymore? To get that additional? He must not. Well, Blue Evolution's about to pull a fast one on, on Gohan here, he's about to final flash in. But I think we're gonna finish Blue Evolution off before uh, we have a chance to see Blue Vegeta. Maybe not though, maybe we can uh, Mm, 
miss some super attacks here. Oh goodness. Um, super Vegeta. <laughs> We're gonna take a Whis just because Super Vegeta is here. And let's do something like this. Maybe we can not not kill uh, Vegeta here, but I don't know. With the blue boys, I mean, they don't hit hard. At least not till they go into Vegeta here. But Vegito there at the end, he hopefully doesn't get a bunch of additional attacks. But knowing him, he's definitely going to do a couple. And this is why we took the Whis. Of course. <laughs> no! 389! My goodness. Alright, nice, yeah. Dodge this. Dodge these attacks. Blue Revolution. Don't die, please. He's gonna die. Nah, maybe not. Good deal. Good deal. Turn 10. And here he is. <laughs> there he is. Alright. Blue Goku as well. And we should have Super Saiyan 3 Bardock on rotation, given both these guys attack 50%. So that's good. And now that he's blue, we get the full field. He's at 734k defense. So now, he's good. And he launches an additional super attack with five or more key spheres obtained. Yep, so when he goes god, then he just needs five key spheres, so that's good. Oh, he only needs six when he's Super Saiyan 2. How about Super Vegeta? He probably still needs seven. Yeah. Alright, well, let's give him this full field of orbs. Super Saiyan, godly power, warrior gods, and fierce battle active should be hitting pretty hard. And I didn't want to get the Dokkan attack there just because I don't want to see if Vegeta will get any additional attacks for us. But either way, he's hitting a 19.8. <laughs> so this final blow is definitely, I mean, it should finish him off. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Once you get to turn 10, then Vegeta is cooking. But that's a, that's a turn 10. <laughs> so, I don't know if he's the greatest EZA. They should have given him guard, or damage reduction, or dodge, or something. Um, the greatly stack in the defense is just not enough. But, alright guys, let me know what you think of transforming Vegeta. And if you guys are excited for the upcoming 9 year anniversary, for JP Dokkan at least. Um, hopefully, both versions are synced up by the 10 year, because that will be some very hype stuff for all of us, you know, um, yeah, everybody's max links, and not too bad, yeah, that's transforming Vegeta for you guys, uh, let me know what you guys think of them, and as always, hope you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.